Good day. My name is Zulado uh, Deafis. I'll be taking another class on fundamental and derived units. Let's start with the definition of fundamental and derived units. What are these units? We say fundamental units are the units used in measuring fundamental quantities. You know, in physics, we have quantity, we have and we have units. Every quantity we have their own unit, except some quantities whereby the the units have been cancelled out. Yeah, the units have been cancelled out. Now, when I say they are the units, they, are, they can be defined as the basic unit. They, the, they are the stepping stone. They are the foundation of all the units. They are the unit for the fundamental quantities. You know, we have quantity, you have, for example, now, distance is a quantity. We are the unit that is being used to measure the distance is meter. For example, if, another thing is that velocity is a quantity. But the unit that is being used to measure that velocity is meter per seconds. So we have quantity, we have units. So once you've seen the quantity, all these basic units, all these basic quantities now, their units is referred to as uh their units are referred to as fundamental units. And they are the basic units, as we said earlier, they are the fundamental units, they are the basic units, they are the independent units that did not depend on any other any anything. They are, they, are, they are on their own. We have derived units. At the name, as as you said, they are the units that is being derived, that is that we, that we get from combining two or more fundamental units together. You know, for example, when you when you are build, building a house now, you have one one block as the foundation now, at the the, 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 the starting uh, block. So it is on this other block, on this block that other blocks are, are being built on. So the on the the other units which we get from combining two or more fundamental units together. They are reversed to as derived units. That is, they are derived from fundamental units. And these derived units, they are the units for the derived quantities. For example, now, acceleration, now, acceleration is not a fundamental unit. Acceleration is a derived unit. So we get it from combining two or more fundamental units or fundamental quantities. For example, now, acceleration now is meter per second scale. We get to know about that. Now, we have some basic well-known fundamental units. We mentioned their quantity and we mentioned their unit. The first one is length, or the displacement, or the distance. We said that when we want to measure the length, we talk about the vertical, uh, it, can, it can be measured vertical, vertically or horizontally. It, when it is horizontally, we're talking about the length, distance. But when we are measuring vertically, we're talking about the height. Those things, they are the quantity. But what unit that are we going to use to measure them? That what? The, it, it, is the, it, it is derived, it, it is uh, meta, meters. For, uh, also, mass. Mass is a quantity. But the unit that's being used to measure mass is a what? The standard unit is, kilo, is kilogram. The units, another another fundamental unit is a fundamental quantity is time. The unit used is, is seconds. Another one is ele electric meter. The unit used is ampere. We have temperature measured in Kelvin. We have linear intensity measured in candela. We have amount of substance measured in what measured in mole. All these ones now they are the what they are they are the units. They are the fundamental units. And all these units as well they have their own dimension. When talking about the units and dimension, now we have the dimension that will be used in in, in, in getting them. For example, now if we want to get the, we've said the dimension the, the unit for time is seconds, but the dimension for time is capital letter T, and dimension for length is capital letter M. That is the dimension for meters is capital letter M. The dimension dimension for seconds is capital letter T, and dimension for mass or the or kilogram is capital letter M. All these guys now we we, we use them later now. We've talked about, and all these units, it is not that they cannot come in other form. For example, now we can have millimeters, we can have centimeters, but we must convert them back. We must convert them back to where they are coming from. For example, if you are given a, 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 a calculation that the distance, that the, 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 the speed travel is 60 km per hour. That's in, in, in you, when you study your your speedometer very well. You see the the, the it is being measured in kilometer per hour. But for you to use it in standard calculation, you must convert that kilometer per hour back to meter per second. You convert the kilometer, which is the which is another uh, another another uh, unit for 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 for, uh, for distance. You convert it back to meter, and the hour you convert it back to seconds. So those are the fundamental units as well. Now, 
We said earlier that fundamental unit is the combination of two or more of derived units. If you see it, the first one is let's let's get explain how we can combine two or more fundamental units to give us one derived unit. To give us one derived unit. Now, we continue with derivation of this derived unit. You've known the fundamental unit. You now want to combine two or more derived units or derived quantities to give us the, the unit for a derived quantity. The first one we start with velocity. The formula for velocity is displacement over time. And earlier, we've talked about, we've said this, this, uh, this displacement as a quantity is being measured in meter. So meter divided by the time, which is measured in second. Meter divided by second, which is equal to meter per seconds. Meter per seconds. Dimension for the meters is capital letter L, and the dimension for time is capital letter T, as we've, 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 we've mentioned before. So it is LT, L per time, per T. Also, acceleration, acceleration, the formula for acceleration is velocity over time. We've gotten velocity earlier. Velocity is meter per seconds. Meter per seconds divided by under seconds, which is equal to meter per second squared. So the dimension is L per T squared. The, the density is mass over value. Our mass is kilogram divided by uh, meter, meter cube. So it is kilogram per meter cube, which is M per L cube. The first is mass multiplied by acceleration. Our mass is kilogram per meter square. Our mass is kilogram and our acceleration is meter per second squared, as we've gotten there. So if you combine everything together, you are having kilogram meter per second squared, which is mlt raised to the power minus 2. Also, we have work. Work is force times distance. We've gotten our force earlier. What's our force? Our force is kilogram meter square, kilogram meter per second square, multiplied by the distance, which is per, multiplied by second, multiplied by meters. So, if we combine everything together and we join everything together, it will be kilogram meter square per second squared. And, and, and the dimension is ml square per t squared. So for pressure now, pressure is force over area. We've gotten our force before. Our force, our force, our force is meter, our mass and acceleration, which is kilogram meter per second squared, divided by the area. Our area is meter, meter square. So we've, we've joined everything together. We're having kilogram. Now you see, we wrote kilogram meter per second squared divided by meter squared. So if we bring those two guys together now, we're having kilogram. Now, from the look of thing, you know, we're having kilogram meter per second squared separately for force divided by the meter squared separately for area. So if you, if, if, if you know, you have, if, you, if, if, you, if you write it somewhere, you're having kilogram meter per second the kilogram meter divided by seconds multiplied by one over meter squared so one meter you cancel one meter from the meter squared so automatically you're having per meter remains now that's why we are having kilogram meter kilogram per meter per second squared so the dimension will be ml is per minus one is per minus two as we've said, as we've shown from the from the six derived quantity that we've we've got, you see that we are we are combining two or more fundamental quantities. For example, now for the, for this prior now, we combine like four quantities because for only force we are having mass, we are having acceleration, we are having area, and inside acceleration we are having velocity and we are having time. So for only prior we are combine we combine four units, four four quantity we are combine. For quant we combine uh, mass, we combine uh, even for velocity, say, say velocity is another two things. So we are combining two or more uh, fundamental units. And if, if, if you see it very you see we are using this power minus something, this power minus something, and this power minus something is the same thing as one over that quantity. For, for, the, for the period where I'm having kilogram per meter now, it means kilogram divided by meter multiplied by divided by second square. Are you getting it? So anything is per minus one is, is equal to one over that thing. If we are, for example, we are, we are having x is per minus one, it means one over x. We are having <coughs> x is per minus two, is equal to one over x squared. So for this one, we are having m is per minus one, it means one over m. 
s raised power minus 2 it means 1 over seconds so that is it in case it's it may be kind of uh, looking somehow but i prefer using that par compared to using uh, uh that normal di uh, division so now in summary fundamental units that the basic units that the fundament fundamental units for the basic of fundamental quantities why the derived units there are these units that have been derived from combining two or more units together now you can now solve this just three uh four uh, uh questions impulse impulse is first times time you've known first you've known time you showed their dimension for me the, the service area the service area is first times length you've known first you know you've known length combine them together and give me the the, the unit you've known momentum is mass times velocity you've known mass you've known the unit for mass you've known the unit for velocity combine the two together and give me the, the answer as well as power as well power is work over time you've known the uh, uh the units for for work and you've known the unit for time just combine them together and give me the answer and give me the unit and the dimension if you have any any question you can get back to us on, on that thank you very much <music>